Let's get into using data and registering it in Azure Machine Learning Studio. Here's an example of a project that has a flat CSV file with a very simple set of columns. There are states here. These are the sugar intakes for employed cohorts, non-employed, retired, less than high school education, high school education, some college and college graduate. So we have a, a full spectrum of different uh, columns here that we're gonna use and import into Azure Machine Learning Studio. So what I'll do is I'll go to raw here in GitHub and just download this. So we'll go through here and I'll say file, save page as, and put this onto my desktop. Next up, what I'll do is I'll go to Azure Machine Learning Studio and go to the data set interface. From here, I'll go through and register a data set. So I'll select create data set from local files and I'll give it a name. So we'll call this uh, sugar data set and I'll select in this particular instance tabular, right? So it is in a file, it's a series of columns and I'll put a description here so I can refer to it later. This is the Center for Disease Control sugar data set. Great, now that I've done that, what I'll need to do is use some type of data store. In this case, the blob storage from Azure is already set up, and this is a great place to include that storage. So all that's left is I can go to the UI here and upload it. So I'll take this sugar, there we go, upload this, and then I'll say next, and it will give me an overview of the schema. Uh, so from here, uh, you can see that it was able to detect that it was delimited data. Uh, it's comma delimited, and it even knows the encoding, UTF-8. And also from here, I would want to select the column header. So typically, a CSV file will have column headers that will be helpful for you when you're using the data. So I'll select use headers from the first file. And then it'll again automatically figure this out. It has an ID, it has a state, it's got everything set there. So next... Uh, I can go in here if I wanted to and even change the types. So this might be useful if I have some specific types that I want to change and later do machine learning with. Great, this looks good. Now that I, I've got this set up, I can go ahead and say create. And, and what's powerful about this is that immediately I can start using it and looking at even descriptive statistics. So for example, if I click on explore here, uh, it'll give me a little bit more information uh, and I can you know, go through and, and preview this data set. And then later, if I wanted to, I could do machine learning with it. Uh, and that's something we'll get into in a later lesson.